in a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabel Lee. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea but we loved with a love that was more than love I and my Annabel Lee with the love that the winged seraphs of heaven coveted her and me Yes, ma'am. Come here. I have a job for you to do. Do you see them? Yes, ma'am. They've been meeting secretly on the beach for the past few days. This has gone on long enough. I will no longer tolerate such insurgent behavior. I don't care how it is done, nor by whom but I want her to curse the day she was born. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. I want her dead. Enjoy yourself, dear, sweet Annabelle. Tonight will be your last. And this was the reason that long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabel Lee, so that her high-born kinsman came and bore her away from me to shut her up in a sepulcher in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me, Yes, that was the reason, as all men know in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabel Lee. Ah!
It was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we, and neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabel Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And the stars never rise, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so all the night tide I lie down by the side of my darling. My darling, my life and my bride in the sepulchre there by the sea, in her tomb by the sounding sea. Thank you. 